All right, welcome to Crater Hardware, and today we're talking about getting ready for Epic 404. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Epic 404 launch, it is an Epic processor in the AM5 socket. Now, these processors are coming, a lot of them at really affordable prices, especially for what they offer. Now, unfortunately, my channel is not big enough to get sampled by AMD for one of these processors, so I have to wait for them to actually come out before I can get my hands on one. Now this is a placeholder, this is a 7600. Now the nice thing about the Epic 4004 series is they slot into any AM5 motherboard. So for instance, you could slot it with a BIOS update, just like any new processor, into this uh, X670E motherboard. But that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is using an ASRock rack server board. Now, if you're unfamiliar with these kind of motherboards, I call them kind of prosumer server boards. They offer a lot of the server stuff, just not as professional as a much, much more expensive server board. You know, ASRock's regular server boards, Supermicro, etc. Now they have motherboards for AM4 and AM5 and some Intel CPUs as well but they add a lot of the server stuff that, well, you need in a server. One of the biggest ones is IPMI. IPMI management, remote management through Ethernet is a big thing for servers. And of course, you don't get that with a regular gaming motherboard or et cetera. You unfortunately kind of stuck with Onboard graphics going into the BIOS, you know, you can't really remote into it. IPMI is freaking awesome. ASRock does not paywall their IPMI or part of their features of IPMI. It's just a download. All you gotta do is download it. Search ASRock IPMI, download it, get your address from the motherboard, boom, done. IPMI remote management. Micro ATX form factor, so, our rack choice hot swap bay chassis that I've reviewed where it's going for my uh, Unraid server, but it will work with any AM5 CPU. Can handle ECC or non ECC memory up to 5200, and it can handle 48 gigabits per slot. So you can have plenty of RAM. Couple quick notes the it's got two M.2s on it. One's Gen 5, the other one is Gen 4. Let's talk PCI slots. The main slot is 16X Gen 5. The 4X slot is Gen 4. And the 1X is also Gen 4. So plenty of PCI lanes available with this processor as well as this motherboard. One of the nicest features is you get a Q code. So if it doesn't boot, you got things to look up and you got numbers to look up instead of counting flashes. Really nice. Now this particular board only has gigabit internet, but I've got 10 gigabit cards, so slot it in, we're good. Of course, it has multiple ways to get video in and out, including HDMI and DisplayPort. Now the whole point of this is to rebuild my Unraid server for a 2U chassis so I can free up another 2U. <laughs> you know, I got a small rack. Gotta, gotta make sure I can fit as much fun stuff in there as I can. So, hope you enjoyed this look at the ASRock Rack B650 motherboard. I will have this motherboard linked in the description if you're interested in it. ASRock is doing great things with these server boards. They've got some really good pricing and it's just a winner for home labbers. So hope you enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.